Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new video. So this is nothing new to you guys probably, I'm sure a lot of you heard about this, but last Saturday Fredo Santana was found dead. So a few months ago he had a seizure and was diagnosed with kidney and liver failure. Apparently the cause of the death was fatal seizure. Basically a fatal seizure is a seizure that leaves you with an instant death and it's really unexpected. So Fredo's death was of course unexpected, he was only 27 years old and he wasn't even hospitalized before his death. So his, he left his wife and child and that's really sad. Now even though as he said he stopped, stopped drinking lean after his f first seizure, I think it was a bit too late for him. Basically lean makes you really addicted to it and it is very hard to stop drinking it it always leaves some consequences. But this is the third known death to a member of Glow Gang. So rest in peace to Fredo, Cap and Blood. Now Chief Keef is left with only Tato and Ball Out. Glow Gang used to be I'd say pretty big. I'm sure there are all some side members that we don't know about but these are I'd say stars. Now what is to worry about is what will happen to Chief Keef, Fredo's cousin. He still probably drinks lean and does all sorts of drugs, even though he is really young and he is risking his life. This should be a lesson to him and all of the members, but as seen they haven't stopped. I've seen a few pictures of Bolo still drinking lean. Now I was a big fan of Fredo and Chief Keef, but the past few years haven't really been that successful for Chief Keef. The cause is probably his lifestyle. A lot of famous rappers like Drake, Namir, ASAP Rocky and Lil Pump gave their respect on social media to Fredo. Now my Instagram, Twitter were all like this past week were just bombing with rest in peace Fredo and that really makes me happy because a lot of people actually appreciated him. But th that's always like that when someone dies he's more appreciated than he was when he was alive so I will really miss Fredo's music um, he was always had that special approach to it he, he was the dangerous one like he was the most feared rapper in Chicago I think nobody ever disrespected him well 21 Savage did like a year or two ago I'm not sure when but even, even he gave his respect to Fredo and yeah now another thing I wanted to talk about to you guys is this channel so the past month was really successful like we on one video we reached 6,000 views <clears throat> that might not be a lot to you guys but it really is a lot to me and we are almost at around 20,000 views uh, like up around the whole channel and almost almost halfway towards the 100 subscribers so I really appreciate that but I wanted to talk about this channel so uh, maybe I wanted to switch up content a little bit like I don't know what you guys want to watch but 2k is really dead I'm sorry to say that but I don't really see nobody play that game like just remember 2k16 was to me it was the best 2k of all time not g gameplay wise but it was really fun to play so I remember that there were there were always some streams um, new videos you remember pretty boy Fredo um, Soluminati and all of those guys like there were always some lit videos and you know when you played the game you had fun but now it's not really about the gameplay but it's about the 2k community I think it's really dying out right now um, they implemented the 2k league which is pretty good if you play pro am but I really miss the old my park the old my career so the game became pay to win basically 
so like I'm still at what overall 83 I mean I don't really play the game a lot but you need a lot of VC to reach the 99 overall and it didn't used to be like that um, I remember my guy on 2k 16 was I think 96 May maybe maybe even more I'm not really sure I should check that out but yeah I remember that and I I could I could have easily reached 99 if I played the my career but I didn't because my park was so fun like you could play it for a few hours you wouldn't get bored you could get on streaks but now um, even the skill really doesn't matter on my park what matters most is on whose side will the game be the game is full of cheese and there's nothing to do about it like um, there are so many lucky bounces lucky plays I wish 2k would do something about it but obviously they won't um, that makes me really sad and that's pretty much the reason why I don't play my park I just don't have fun when I play it I admit I'm not good anymore at my park in the game I can get I can't get the streaks but I used to get on huge streaks on 2k16 my my record was not perfect but it was like um, 600 wins and 100 losses which is good for someone that goes to high school so you know I only played f at weekends I tried to record videos for you guys that's when pretty much my channel started out and I had to study but I still enjoyed the game and yeah I really missed that so actually guys let me know in the comment section below what what do you want to see in the future uploads um, I will gladly read your comments I always I always respond to my comments um, there are not a lot of them but whenever I see someone comment on my video I surely respond to it and I will gladly take your like requests requests or whatever you want to see of course I'm gonna bring a few more tutorials to 2k18 but I don't really know what else is there to cover like just let me know in the comment section and yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, share this video with your friends, and if you want to see more and help this channel grow, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.